everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. If you don't already know, my name is Janet, and I'm so excited that you are here. Y'all, today I'm working on some canning, but the other day we were working on making sausages. And I was trying to edit, and I looked at myself in the beginning of that video, and I said, Oh, my stars, we can't put that out there. <laughs> Y'all, normally it doesn't matter, but that was just bad. <laughs> it had been super windy out there and my hair was just everywhere. But anyway, I'm coming here to let you know that that's what you're going to see today. It's, we had 45 pounds of sausage and we made three different types of sausage. So you wanna see how we did it? Let's go. Okay, so the guys have come out here last night and this morning. They've cut up all the meat already Honey, what all did y'all cut up? Do you remember? What? The meat. What all did we have? Deer meat and Boston butts and tenderloins and shoulders. And deer? Or deer and hams? Deer and hog. Okay, so it's just a mixture of deer and beef and pork. Most of it that we harvested ourselves. But these are the seasonings we're going to use because we're going to make three batches of sausages we're going to do the breakfast sausage and this is who we like to order our supplies from you have to call them um i was trying to see if their information was there oh <clears throat> excuse me i'll put their information down below but we're doing breakfast sausage bratwurst and garlic summer sausage so right now we've got everything set up this is the mixer. This will hold, was it 25 pounds of meat? Holds 25 pounds of meat and you just put it all in there with your seasonings and water and mix it up. And then after making sausage with our other sausage maker that attaches to the KitchenAid for big batches of sausage, we knew we had to have something else. So this is our, um, this is not the LEM. What brand is this, honey? <laughs> uh, let's see. It's Cabela's. I'm looking at the box now. It's the Cabela's Sausage Stuffer. So we're going to check it out and see how it works today. so pretty today look at that sky but my goodness this wind will knock you over it's not march yet but march is trying to come in like a lion already i forgot to mention too when i was telling you about these when you order you can get enough that the pack will do either 15 pounds of meat or 25 pounds of meat. So that's one really nice thing about it. So luckily we ended up having 45 pounds of meat, which was perfect for three different packs. Well, three different packs of the seasoning. 15 pounds. All right, look, the guys have got all fancy. They've even measured out and weighed out 15 pounds to be ready for today. And y'all ran it through the coarse grinder first. Okay, so it went through the coarse grinder and then the fine grinder. Ooh, it looks so fancy, baby. It looks professional. Ooh, we're gonna call you fancy pants. <laughs> it does look good. Did it jam up this time? Okay, so we I finally convinced him that the secret is to have this meat almost frozen before you run it through that grinder. And look how nice it looks. It looks like we got it from the grocery store. And this is meat we harvested. All right, you guys, normally when you're making the sausage, you're going to want to add three pounds of fat. And we just buy beef fat. You want to, I'm sorry, hog fat. We bought a big box of hog fat and separated it into three pound bags. So normally to 15 pounds of meat, you're going to want to add those three pounds of fat. But this meat that we had here was super fatty. You can see the fat all in it. So 
Bill told me he did not add fat to this one, this batch. So what we're going to do is put the meat into the mixer first. Okay, we've got about half of the meat in here, so we're going to put some of the seasoning in. And then we're going to mix. And as we mix, we'll gradually add the other seasoning in. <laughs> Something in there is making all of us cough. Okay, the pack tells you how much water to use, so we're adding in one. Go ahead and mix as you're adding it. <coughs> Come on, y'all, lightweights. <laughs> you can't do that. He's got to add more median. <laughs> He's just. Oh, shut up, you whim. <laughs> He's just mixing it in. <laughs> he can't breathe. <laughs> well, he was trying to mix it in some more. It's just pepper. Okay, this mixing process, I'm not going to show it to you for each batch of sausage because you do the same exact thing. Only difference is, is the seasoning that you add to it. Um, for these, it actually has um, the cure on the back, and we're using the veggie cure. So, but that will be the only difference with that one. Damn. <laughs> All right, so put the top on. <laughs> <laughs> that might be what the, what the little slats for. Hmm. It's definitely getting sticky. Come on. <coughs> Careful, don't let it fall off the table. Yeah, it did say to go one way and then go back the other way. Yeah, that's the way it should look. It's exactly right. Once we were done, Jake started making the vacuum seal bags to put the um, sausage in. And then Bill started weighing out the meat. And he just used an old coffee can and just measured out one pound. And that's how we put it in the bags. Now some of the bags went over by maybe an ounce, some maybe two ounces. So we ended up in the end only getting 14 packs out of the 15 pounds of meat. <laughs> yeah. Look, last time we were using those totes of the band, that's what's working really good because you would take those gloves off and.
Okay, I had to come back in to finish up another video I'm actually working on for Irish stew and bread. But the guys finished up the sausage and they're getting ready to put it in the freezer. How many packs did we end up with? 15? So, 14 packs. Well, you go over a little bit too. Yeah, so, 14 packs of sausage. But remember, you can't stack it all on top of each other. You got to lay it out flat and let it freeze and then stack it. Otherwise, it won't freeze for days. That's one thing with. Um, a chest freezer, y'all, never stack this much meat at one time. Lay it out flat around the freezer and then come back after it's all frozen. Then you can stack it where you want it. But you've got to let it freeze first. Okay, we're getting ready to do the second batch. This is going to be bratwurst. <laughs> They're scared of the white pepper again. It made everybody this, this, cough and this choke. Ain't, this ain't that much. Thing without it squishing out the top. Yeah. Get down, get, get down to the meat first. Oh, that is not. Okay, now you're gonna twist it towards you two times or away from you two times. Let it pull it off of the tube or it's not going to twist. No, it keeps coming. <laughs> I, I've taken all the pressure off of it. I reversed it one or two times. Okay, okay well, yeah. only two or three times, baby. Yeah, okay, and then the next one you're going to twist the in the opposite way. direction. It off the tube where it's not going to twist. Yeah. Just two or three times. <laughs> I ain't got, yet. got it twisted the first time yet. This one's done. Alright. Jake, go ahead and help them. Ready. Don't help it. Just hold that end one still. I've got to do it more than two or three times. Okay. learning curve the more you do it the more you get your rhythm okay real quick before my phone goes dead the guys have already packaged them up we have 10 packs of brats and there are five to six in each pack so hey can't complain about that Well, we just finished doing the summer sausage 
and we were putting them in the bags and I said, I thought you smoked these the last time we did them. And he said, oh no. So he is out here now getting the wood ready to start a fire. What he's going to do is just put these on the cold smoker. Bill, how long do you leave them on the cold smoker? Okay, so about two days. And then we'll take them out, then seal them up and put them in the freezer. And when he's ready, we usually do these on the weekend, especially during football season. Or when he's grilling as an appetizer, we'll just take out a pack and he'll put them on the um, pellet grill. Get them good and hot and then we eat them with cream cheese and crackers and pepper jelly. hand off. There's still a ham in here. He's got to take that down before we get the sausages going. Are you going to leave them on these in the smoker? Mm -hmm. Who taught you how to be professional? Nobody. I just seen them at the grocery store. These little things? Yeah. Or at Walmart or something. He's rigged up this little system to where we can or he can hang these racks to smoke. I thought it was pretty gen ingenious. y'all I'm not even recording so I just wanted to show you what this looks like during the day these are the little trays we were working on and the temperature is somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees but I just really wanted to give you a good look of those at those we are actually about to head to church going to my hometown so I gotta hurry I hope I don't end up smelling like smoke <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. Sun's coming up over there. So anyway, I will see you guys when we're ready to take these out. All right, y'all. We put these in the smoker on Saturday evening. It is now Monday afternoon. So let's see what's going on. We're about to get these out. Oh, it smells so good in here. Aren't they pretty? That's so exciting. I hope we get to try it for this video. We'll see what happens. This is the inside of the smoker. You couldn't see it before with all the smoke. But there's the wood box, firebox. And the smoke just comes up through here. Now all we're going to do is just take them and bag them up in the vacuum sealer bags and freeze them.
Okay, we have seven packs of four links and one pack of three. And the husband says he is not going to grill any, so I can't try it for this video. Okay, you guys, I just thought this was really fun. This is all of our breakfast sausage down through there all the way to the bottom. And back here, I've got the Irish brats because, hello, March is coming up. But all of this back there, all the way to the bottom, that's our homemade bratwurst. I cannot wait to try it. Give me just a second. I'm going to just stack these in the freezer to let them freeze, and then we'll put them in this little open spot here. Um, I'll probably need to be in here a couple hours. But we're going to go in, and I'm going to show you the breakfast sausage. Oh, y'all, hold on. Okay, so this morning before we went out to do the smoked sausage, I made breakfast, and I used this um, breakfast sausage that we made the other day. Y'all, as long as my body is able, I will, I won't say never because you never know what's going to happen, but I hope I never have to buy sausage again. This sausage was really good. You know the restaurant that has the golden arches? If you like that flavor but don't like as much heat as that sausage has, that's what this tastes like. It's the same flavor, but it's fresher. It's got a much fresher taste to it. It's just not as hot. It's got just a touch of heat, but not nearly as spicy as the one with the golden arches. And even that's not terrible spicy, but anyway, that's the best way I can describe it. So y'all, I highly encourage you to try that company if you're interested in making your own sausage. Again, look in the um, description box below and I'll link the information for those spices. So anyway, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I will come back another time when we're actually cooking the other sausages we made. So you guys, you know I love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. Until we meet again, may you be blessed. Mwah. Love you guys.